Hi, I'm Mike Lewis, CTO at Maven Wireless. In this video, I'm going to show you just how quick and easy it is to set up wireless coverage using the Maven DAS. A DAS, short for Distributed Antenna System, provides radio coverage somewhere the outdoor macro cell network doesn't reach, such as in a building, stadium, or tunnel. In the Maven DAS, the Orion head-end unit connects to the base stations and distributes the radio signals in digital form over fiber optic cables. Remote units recreate the radio signals and transmit them through the antennas in the building. The opposite happens in the uplink, with the signals received from users in the building transported back to the base stations. Legacy DAS systems use analog fiber optic signals, and the radio signals are attenuated and corrupted by noise and distortion when transmitted over the fiber links. With Maven's digital technology, data going in one end of the fiber comes out unchanged at the other side. Radio signal quality is completely independent of the fiber distribution, which makes the system very easy to set up. The Stratus remote is installed in the coverage area and connected to the antennas. A single Stratus provides coverage in four frequency bands for all operators, supplying high output power without needing cooling fans. The Orion is installed in the equipment room with the base stations. A technician can access the Maven DAS user interface by connecting a USB cable from the computer to any unit. Simply click on the link to open the web-based user interface. After logging in, you get an overview of the system. In order to provide coverage, we need to connect signals from base stations. The Maven Digital DAS allows you to choose how different carriers are treated, for example, to which remotes they're distributed and with what power levels and gains. We do this by splitting the input signals into different frequency ranges, which we call sector inputs. The Add Sector dialog lets us define a name with which we can identify this sector input, the frequency band corresponding to one of the installed band modules in an Orion, the cellular technology, which Orion unit the signal is connected to, and to which band module on that unit, and what frequency range the sector input covers. Each operator typically has several frequency allocations in different frequency bands, which are entered as separate sector inputs. Each one of these can then be treated separately by the system. For commissioning of the remote, all that is needed is to connect the antenna, plug in the fiber optic cable, and turn on the unit. Once the remote is connected and powered on, the digital link is automatically brought up. When the link light turns on, the units have established communication and the link delay has automatically been determined. When the units are connected, the Stratus remote is automatically detected by the system and appears in the user interface. In this example, we have two remotes connected to our Orion. Now we can simply drag and drop our sector inputs onto a remote in order to enable coverage there. For each remote, we simply enter the wanted gains in downlink and uplink and the signal output power. A sector input can be routed to several remotes, and the combination of sector inputs, gains and powers can be chosen according to the requirements of the system. Once the sector inputs are routed, they appear at the selected remotes and the signal levels can be monitored, and the system is now providing coverage. So, to conclude, in this film I've shown how quick and easy it is to set up the Maven DAS. Thanks to the smart digital technology, time-consuming link calibration and level alignment needed by analog DAS is a thing of the past. The user-friendly interface makes it simple to set up your RF coverage. For more information, please feel free to get in touch at info at mavenwireless.com.